The governor is the monarch's representative and becomes the de facto head of state on the rock. He or she will be appointed by King Charles III on the advice of the British government. It's a tradition that dates back to 1704, when Gibraltar was conquered by an Anglo-Dutch fleet. Over the years, we've had governors who were generals, who were uh, admirals, who were marshals of the air force, uh, who were uh, generals within the Royal Marines, but military men. Then again, the situation changed when uh, the appointment of David Dury as governor, now Sir David, was made. He was a civilian, and we had several civilians as governors. Uh, Sir Richard Luce, now Lord Luce, was another of the civilian governors. But then we went back to the military, as we have with the present governor. So when looking for a governor today, I think there's a very different situation from that which applied in the past. So there is this history of military men. Today, of course, there's no reason why it shouldn't be a woman who is appointed as governor. We have had Leslie Pallet. She was the deputy governor, and then she was appointed as governor for a while until the new governor came to Gibraltar. So we have a range of possibilities. In fact, even I have been appointed as governor for a weekend uh, when both the governor, Sir Rob Hunter, and the deputy governor were away, and I was at the time the chief secretary. So there's also the possibility that a governor could be a Gibraltarian. The job vacancy set out on the FCDO website lists the eligibility criteria. It states the position is key to making the constitutional relationship between the UK and Gibraltar work. An understanding or experience of defence and security issues is highly desirable, given the Governor's role as Commander-in-Chief. And an understanding of European and security issues would also be beneficial. It might be remembered that Sir James Dutton resigned as Governor in 2015, saying he thought the job was more representational and ceremonial than he'd expected. But it can also be extraordinarily complex. At the time of posting, the negotiations on Gibraltar's future relationship with the EU are expected to be completed, although the vacancy acknowledges the possibility of a period without a negotiated outcome. It says the territory could be going through a period of change as it adapts to a new relationship. Qualities required for effective governorship are the ability to lead with authority and be able to show a genuine interest in the people, economy and society of Gibraltar, working with community leaders to promote a diverse and inclusive society. The job starts in May 2024 and is for a fixed term period of four years. The salary, £95,000. Not bad. Those eligible to apply must be a British citizen. If you're a Gibraltarian, then you must have been resident in the UK for five out of the last ten years, immediately prior to your application. Applications need to be in before Sunday the 2nd of April. But there is one thing not mentioned in the job description, which means that cycling up the rock with the Chief Minister at the crack of dawn is likely to be optional.